OMG, welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn, and I'm coming at you with my end of week a rebate haul. Oh my gosh, so excited to share this one with you. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you just found me, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there so I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you're doing any rebate shopping this week. So my husband got a the February funds bonus, which I hadn't even started yet until this week. So I decided to go ahead and knock that out and I wanted to share with you all the things I got uh there's the big guy he's sleeping in the middle of the couch today which is a little odd for him but there he is for any all that like to see Gus hello Lillian I hope you're having a great day Lillian all right we are going to have before we head into the store um what I did with this haul was I did have a midweek money maker, and so I went ahead and completed that on Tuesday. So that's going to be part of my February funds. And then I thought I would wait and see if I got a weekend warrior, which I did not, but that's totally fine. Um, so I've got two different days of video footage that I'm going to be taking you in the store uh, and showing you what I pick up to complete this bonus, or actually both bonuses. Um, and then there is a link in the description box where I go through tutorials on how to use Fetch Rewards, Ibotta, um, Swagbucks, and Shopkicks. I show you how to find the offers, how to submit for the offers, how to cash out on the apps, and what to do if there is ever an issue. So go ahead and check that out in the description box if you're unfamiliar with how to use one or all of the rebate apps. My referral links will be in the description box as well. And if you're currently not using one and you want to use my referral link, that would be great. If you choose not to, that's totally cool as well. Uh, we did almost all of this. The only thing that was included was a Walgreens transaction where I did use some coupons. Everything else, no coupons. So this is super like non-coupon or friendly. You're just using the rebate apps, which is awesome. And I focused a lot on food. So I'm super excited to share this haul with you. Now I'm going to get just a teeny little bit heavy for one second because I really want to have this video to direct people to in case they ask questions. So I want you to understand if you already don't know what you're getting with me as a couponer. So I bring you, I show you the deals that I'm doing. I don't tell you that you have to go do the deals or do them exactly like me. I just share with you what I'm doing. I am a couponer that follows the rules mostly. <laughs> Um, so I, I just want you to be aware of that. So as I have told you for several other things in the past, in past videos, you as the couponer and you as the consumer user of coupons, of rebate apps, you need to read your coupons and your rebate apps and do what makes you feel comfortable. I will never, ever intentionally misuse a paper coupon. That's coupon fraud. I won't do it. I can't do it. My conscience will not allow me to do it. I know there are other channels that do. Um, I know that there are coupons that will work on wrong items. I don't ever intentionally do it. I've made mistakes in the past just as everybody else has, but I don't ever intentionally do it and I don't advocate for that. I do, however, participate in digital glitches. If you don't like that, I'm, I'm probably not the channel for you. And if you like my channel, but you just don't want to participate in the things that bother you, I totally get that. Um, sometimes we get some glitches on Ibotta where it gives us credit for two different rebates. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. I will never ever force a glitch to work. For instance, CVS, Ibotta picks up nothing. I will not manually select two rebates and force a glitch. I won't do it. Yesterday, somebody commented on my video. Um, I did a Walgreens transaction and a Rite Aid transaction and said um, that Walgreens coupon, not Walgreens, that Rite Aid's coupon policy 
policy says you can't use a coupon on a free item. I, I, as the consumer, did not do my due diligence on that. I didn't read their coupon policy. I went by what the store allowed and what the system would allow. I probably will continue to do that. My store allows a coupon to be used on a free item and the system allows it. If you don't want to do that, then you shouldn't do that. This is kind of what I mean by I am a by the book couponer mostly. <laughs> I don't read through and memorize every store's coupon policy. If you want to, that's great. If the store, if I go into the store and they say we don't accept coupons on free items, perfect. I'll follow their rules. I'm following the store's rules now because they do allow it. So you have to do your due diligence and figure out what you are comfortable with. There are some rebate apps that say you cannot combine with other rebate apps. Do what you are comfortable with. I do what I'm comfortable with. Whenever you are doing something that maybe, like for instance, Ibotta, if two rebates come up and you decide to go ahead and accept that, there is a potential for a consequence for that. If you know that a paper coupon off of Tide works on a 99 cent bottle of Downy, and it's $3 and it gives you $2 of overage, and you intentionally use that, you are committing coupon fraud and potentially could face consequences for that. If you choose to use a rebate app, and a rebate app says you cannot combine it with another rebate app, and you choose to do it and combine it with another rebate app, then you potentially face the consequences, as do I. It cracks me up when people are like, <laughs> they get so mad. Sometimes people get so mad and they write in all caps, you can't do that. Listen, I'm okay if you want to get mad at me. That's totally fine. If you, what is the saying? If you would like to judge me because I sin in a different way than you, because you sin, maybe not in the same way I do, that's your problem, not mine. So, Always, always as the consumer, you need to do your due diligence and figure out what you are comfortable with. So if you ask me a question, can I do this? I will direct you to this video and let you know, you need to read the rebate. You need to read the coupon. You need to figure out, does are you playing by the rules? And if you're not playing by the rules, are you comfortable not playing by the rules? Basically. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to put that out there. Always do your due diligence. Always figure out what you are comfortable with. And what I bring you is what I am comfortable with, knowing the risks involved. All right, so we are going to head into the store. This is going to be a really big haul because I have to pick up 36 rebates. This is probably going to be a long video. Whatever. All my videos are long videos. You already know that. <laughs> If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And if you're not currently subscribed, check out my videos. See if you vibe with me. If you like my content, we would love to have you as part of this community. All right, let's start off with Walmart. All right, we are in the Walmart and it is Tuesday. And the first thing I'm going to work on is my midweek moneymaker. I got a $3 bonus when I complete 15 offers. And that will stack with my February funds bonus of $10 back when I complete uh, 36 offers. All right, so the first deal I'm going to do is we do have a rebate on Ibotta for Gillette deodorant. And the travel and trial size does qualify. So it's it's $1.97 and Ibotta is going to give us back $1.50 for this. I'm going to go ahead and combine this with some other awesome offers. So there is a Shopkick bundle for Gillette deodorant, which the trial and travel size does count. You won't get the scan kicks for it, though, but you will get the buy kicks. You could actually do that one just by itself if you wanted. But it also includes ivory body wash. So um, I'm going to go ahead and grab two of the ivory body wash, these big, huge body washes for $3.97 each. 
And if I buy one Ivory Body Wash and the Gillette deodorant, Shopkick is going to give me back 1,100 kicks, which is $4.40. Just take the kicks they're giving you, multiply it by 0 .004. I'm gonna pick up a second Ivory Body Wash because there is a rebate on Swagbucks and I had to get the unscented ones for uh, $4 back when you purchase two. So here's how the math works out for this. These three products total $9.91. I'll get back $1.50 from Ibotta, $4 from Swagbucks, and $4.46 from Shopkick because I also got scan kicks for scanning the Ivory in store. Makes these three products free plus a five cent money maker. Now, because I did do this on Tuesday, I do think they Shopkick lowered down the bundle. I was really hoping these babies would be on rollback. Uh, they're not low enough yet. I wanted to pick it up again. They are $6.97. If you buy two, uh, Swagbucks is giving back $10, which is still a great deal, but I'm gonna just hold off and see if they go a little bit lower. I was so dang excited when I saw this rebate pop up. Who remembers when we did this rebate six months ago for the Bic Gelosity? They've been on rollback for at least six months for $5.88. They're now $7.38. My store only had one anyways. But we have a rebate if you buy two for $9.50 back. So if this is a product that you need or you really like, I still have some in my stockpile, so I'm gonna pass. Another pen deal, if you can find these on roll rollback, the Bic Prevagard. I have a store that they're listed at $1.50 each and we have an Ibotta rebate for $6 back when you purchase two. I haven't been able to find them at the other store. I think I'm gonna check this weekend. So another great deal, especially if you can find them on rollback. All right, again, this is on Tuesday and I am searching for the Annie's Frozen Mac and Cheese, which is a free offer on Ibotta. My store has them in stock and I checked on the website and it told me the aisle. So it's, they're over here with like the non-meat products and the healthy products. I searched everywhere. It said they had them in stock. I could not find them. Uh, so I hope you found your free Annie's mac and cheese. It was a no-go for me. I think I might check another store towards the end of the week. All right, more yogurt. I get yogurt in every haul because we go through it so fast. I have an awesome rebate for the Chobani Flips, a BOGO offer on Ibotta. So they are $1.22 in my store. Donna loves the Chobani flips, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab her two of them. So I'll pay $2.44 at the register for these two and submit to Ibotta for $1.22 back. All right, next up, let's head down the cereal aisle. We got a pretty good deal. It's not the best deal ever, but it is a product that we really, really like, and it is on the Raisin brand. I got this in a, one of my last Ibotta hauls. We really like Raisin Bran to begin with. This one is Raisin Bran Oats, I think. So I'm gonna grab the family size, which is priced at $3.64. There it is, a little high up. Ibotta has a rebate for $1 back, and I'm going to submit my receipt to coupons.com, the app, since I'm not using a coupon on this, for $1 back as well. That'll bring my cost down to $1.64. I don't ever see rebates on this, so I was pretty excited. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Chef Boy RD. I'm gonna grab the mini raviolis that are priced at 88 cents. And I bought it's gonna give me back 25 cents. Bringing that down to 63 cents. I will take it, because sometimes I use those for Gus's, um, Gus's meals if he can't eat like what we're eating. Ah, my Walmart put the Pringle Scorchers on rollback for $1.25. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And I have a free offer on Ibotta to get back $1.48. Making these free plus a 23 cent money maker. So excited whenever we can get a little money maker. All right, uh, look what my store restocked. It just wouldn't be a haul without some nerd gummy clusters. I'm gonna be sad when this rebate ends. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a package for 98 cents and submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back. All right, I just need one more item to complete my midweek moneymaker bonus. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab a box of Triscuits. We love Triscuits. I always try to keep them stocked in the house. Specifically, they have to be the roasted garlic ones. That's what my girls love and I like them too. So they're priced at $2.08 and I'll pay that at the register. And I'm going to submit to Ibotta for $1 back, bringing that down to $1.08. Oh, I lied. We're gonna do one more rebate. I don't think I need it for my midweek, but it will help me track towards my February funds bonus. So I'm gonna do the Trident gum. It's such an easy rebate. And I always like to keep gum in the house. So they're $1.12 each. And I bought us getting giving back $1.12 for purchasing two of them. So making them buy one, get one free, basically. All right, that's it for Tuesday shopping. It is now Thursday. And we're going to start off with a little bit of Kroger action. Thank you so much to Ohio Valley Couponer Nick over there. Go follow him if you not, are not currently following him. He does amazing Kroger videos and Walmart videos. He's really all about the rebate apps and I always get so many ideas from him. So I was watching his video last night and I was taking some notes. So I'm gonna do a few rebates over at Kroger. They've got a mega sale right now where if you buy five participating items, you get a dollar off of each item. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, Kind Thins. So they are gonna be $6.49, no coupons. I'm going to submit to Ibotta for $2 back. I'll receive back $2 in Kroger cash back and submit my receipt to Fetch Rewards for $1.75 back. Making my cost just 74 dang cents for that box of kind bars that started off at how much? Oh my gosh, absolutely insane, almost $7. All right, Kroger was generous enough to give us a digital coupon for the free, for a free Febreze oil warmer but you can see my stores out so go ahead and clip that coupon if you have Kroger and hopefully your store has stock mine did not but I will check back again all right next item on our list we're gonna grab some really cheap pancake mix I think it's like organic or something like that uh, again I saw it over on Nick's channel Ohio Valley couponer so for the mega event you have to pick up at least five participating items to get the dollar off of each item. They don't have to be the same items. And after you hit five, you could pick up six or seven. You don't have to buy in multiples of five. So this is part of the mega sale, which is on the Birch Benders pancake mix. And so it's gonna bring up for $2.99. I'm going to submit back to Ibotta for a dollar rebate and Kroger Cashback is going to give me a dollar, bringing that down to just 99 cents. All right, next up is gonna be the Sun Made Bites. I do not have an Ibotta rebate for Kroger for these, but I ended up making a really good deal. And even though they're not tagged in my store, they are part of the Mega, so this will help me get to my five items. So they're gonna be 99 cents. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up two of the s'mores because I really like the s'mores. I found peelies in the store for a dollar off of two. So I'm gonna grab two of them. So two of them is gonna total me $1.98. I'll use this peely to take a dollar off. So I'll pay 98 cents. Fetch Rewards is gonna give me back a thousand points, which is equivalent to a dollar, making them just free. But a surprise Catalina for a dollar spit out as well. So it made these a little $1 money maker. All right, last item for Kroger is going to be on the Butterball Turkey Sausage. It is part of the mega event. So that brings it down to just $1.50. No coupons for this. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for 35 cents back. And there is a Kroger cashback rebate for 35 cents. So that's going to bring that down to just 80 cents. What a great deal. All right, so this finishes up Kroger. We are going to head into a different Walmart to see what we're going to do to finish out our February funds bonus. All right, my girls really like Nutella. So we have a rebate for these. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Viv likes pretzels, so I'm going to grab her the Nutella uh, on the go with pretzels and Donna doesn't so much like pretzels so I'm just gonna grab her a regular one. So these are priced at $1.48 each and Ibotta is gonna give me back 50 cents, bringing them down to just 98 cents. 
and I will get a dollar back total from Ibotta, but this only counts as one rebate because it is the same item. All right, while I'm over at checkout, I'm gonna grab some more gum. The Trident Pocket Packs are $1.88 each, and if I pick both of these up, Ibotta's gonna give me back $1.88. All right, the next deal is really not a spectacular deal. However, it was something I needed, and I'm right over here by the checkout. My poor Donna Jean, she has been having the worst time with, I gotta get her probably to the doctor to check for maybe eczema. Her hands have been breaking out terrible. I don't want her using any scented um, hand sanitizer because they use hand sanitizer so much in school. And she's actually been using the Physician's Formula scented one that I got from CVS a while back. So I'm gonna grab these two. They're $1.52 each. They'll total me $3.04. I'll get back 75 cents from Ibotta, bringing those down to $1.14 each. Guess what reset? I'm in the candy aisle, the nerd gummy clusters that reset for me again. I gotta be getting close to my max here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. It's 98 cents and Ibotta's gonna give me back 50 cents. All right, another rebate that we don't see very often. I was super excited to see the Morton's all season. Um, uh, Spice is, uh, has a, I bought a rebate. So they are priced at $1.48. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And I bought, it's going to give me back 50 cents, bringing my cost to 98 cents for that. All right. I did this last week and I'm going to go ahead and do it again. The rebate that I had seen over on, uh, Sisters Saving You Cents channel. Such a fun channel. Go check them out if you haven't. It is on the CLR Sports Stain Remover. It's priced at $3.24, and it is attaching to two different Ibotta rebates for $1 and $1.50, bringing that down to $0.74 cents for this. All right, I've done this next rebate as well before, but it's just a great rebate, and I want to try to get stocked up, and I think it's expiring soon. On the Carbana Stain Removers, they are priced at $2.28. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, I think it's a grease one. I don't have this one yet. Um, so I'll pay that at the register and to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making my cost $1.28. All right, so I came to this store because it said that they had the Annie's Frozen Mac and Cheese in stock. So I am looking and I found it. I was so excited. So I get to grab the little freebie. It's priced at $2.94. And Ibotta has a rebate for $2.94 back on this. Except for, as I always do, I scan every product in the app to make sure it qualifies. And guess what rebate disappeared on me? Oh, when she. So I'm putting the Annie's frozen mac and cheese back because there is no more rebate. Bummer. Okay, next one is not an Ibotta rebate, but a fantastic Shopkick rebate. If you're not using Shopkick, you are missing out. There is a link in the description box, as I told you, of how to use it. Um, if you have kids or anybody in your family that likes these oh my gosh such a great great deal the danables super super danables i don't know they're little like yogurt probiotic drinks they're priced at two dollars and 98 cents shopkick has a rebate between scanning in the store and purchase kicks for two dollars and 80 cents back on the strawberry and a separate one for the blueberry which is going to bring these down to just 18 cents for a six pack of yogurt smoothie drinks and my girls really like these so I was excited about it. All right, you know we're doing the Wii again. Donna loves the Wii and it's an easy rebate. So it's $1.34, I'm just checking expiration dates as I always do and I bought us gonna give me back 25 cents for this. All right, we used to get rebates often for the Casa Del Real, I think it is, dip and we fell in love with it. I only tried it because of a rebate. We haven't had that rebate for a long time, but we got this one and um, I'm excited to try it because I really love like five layer dip. So it's priced at $4.98, this Rojo's five layer dip and Ibotta has a $1 rebate back. So I'm super excited to grab this. 
All right, I only need a couple more rebates to finish out my February funds bonus. I was searching for the Baby Ruth bars because that's a super easy rebate. And as you can see, I've used no coupons except for the one Peely that I found at Kroger. There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Baby Ruth bar and submit to Ibotta for 25 cents back. And then I think we just need to grab one more thing and we will be all done. This is the store that is showing the Bic Prevagard at $1.50. And look at I found one box. I need two for the Ibotta rebate of $6 back. So I'm going to put this in my cart. I'm going to search all over. Cross your fingers for me that I can find another box that would be a super nice money maker. Womp, womp, womp. I searched everywhere. They did not have another box. So I'm going to just put this box back. Darn it. All right. So we need, uh, I think, two more rebates or one more rebate. So what I'm gonna do, just super duper easy, is we have an any rebate for toothpaste. And when I scanned this trial size toothpaste, it's actually attaching to any toothpaste or rebate and any, I think, antacid rebate. So it's 97 cents, I'll get 20 cents back. That'll bring it down to 77 cents. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and see how everything turned out. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this rebate haul. So excited about the way this turned out. So dang incredible. Uh, the only thing that you don't see pictured on the table is I did do, I think, six rebates at Walgreens. And I already shared that haul with you. Um, so I did count this in my cost and everything. I already shared this receipt with you. This is where I got, um, the Vaseline bundle from Shopkick and the Ibotta rebate here. The Gillette was a uh, Ibotta rebate and a Walgreens promotion. The Depends was an Ibotta rebate, which I believe that is now gone. And the Splenda was an Ibotta rebate. So I already showed you all of that. So I did pay $26.25. I did include that in my cost. So, like I told you, I was waiting. I did this in two different days just to see if I could stack a midweek and a weekend warrior, which I didn't get the weekend warrior. Totally fine. So, on Tuesday, I believe it was, I went to Walmart and I did do the um, this little bundle right here with the Ivory and the Gillette, which was an Ibotta rebate, a Swagbucks rebate, and a Shopkick rebate. I did have a little bit of trouble with that. So that one cost me $10.50. I used no coupons on that. I'll tell, well, what happened was I actually just got credit today from Shopkick and they gave me credit uh, 400 kicks less, which I think what they did was they actually lowered the bundle price now, which I posted it on my community tab. So hopefully you already saw it. That's happened to me one other time where it takes them a couple of days to process my receipt. In the meantime, they lower the bundle kicks back and they only gave me the lowered amount even though I purchased it on that date. I am gonna just include the totals for what they gave me, but I'm confident they will fix it. Uh, there is a tutorial linked in the description box with how to file a ticket with them if you're not sure. So that's what I will be doing to get back because it's like $1.60 back. So anyways, that was my only issue. I did get my swag bucks and all of that. I'll go over all that final at the end with you. And then I picked up the Raisin Bran, the Triscuits, the Trident Gum, the Chobani Flips, the Nerd Clusters, and the Mini Ravioli. So there's this receipt. I used no coupons. Again, oh my gosh, I think this whole rebate haul other than Walgreens was no coupons except for one dang Peely that I found. Wow, that's kind of incredible. So $13.51 for that. Then I went over to Kroger this morning. Thank you so much to Nick. He does such an awesome job on his Kroger videos. And I got the Birch Bender Pancake Mix. Well, you saw everything I got. Uh, so I did use one coupon on that, which was the Peely I found. Uh, I earned back $11, or I earned back, I paid $11.96 for that one. And then finished out at the Walmart. There's everything. I used no dang coupons. All I used was rebate apps and I got a whole bunch of food stuff. 
So this one cost me $31.87. So total that I paid between one, two, three, four, five different receipts, Walgreens included, was $93.50 for all of this stuff. I hope I don't miss anything. Here's what I got back. Um, I got back $14 from Shopkick. Should have been fifteen sixty because of that bundle changing. Um, got back two dollars and seventy five cents from Fetch Rewards. I did have to correct my receipt. It picked up my Sun Made Bites, but it did not pick up my Kind Thins. I had to correct my receipt. Had credit within about five minutes for those two. Um, Four dollars from Swag Bucks. I earned back. $16 from my Walgreens transaction from Ibotta, plus I earned back $14 in Walgreens cash for my Walgreens transaction. I earned back $0.24 cents from Pay with Ibotta, and then I had a $0.25 cent pasta bonus showed up like randomly when I didn't even scan a receipt, so that was really weird, but I'll take it. Um, $6.57 from one Walmart transaction, $1.60 from another Walmart transaction, $3.35 from my Kroger transaction from Ibotta, $3.35 from Kroger Cash Back, and then from my Walmart today, $9.83. I hit level one. I haven't even hardly used my husband's Ibotta this month. So 50 cents back on level one. I did hit my midweek moneymaker on Tuesday for $3 back. Um, I did submit to the coupons.com app for $1 back for my Kellogg's cereal. And then I hit my $10 February funds bonus. So total cost again was $93.50. I earned back $91.44. So that would make this a cost of $2.06. That's the number I'm giving you right now. If and when Shopkick corrects, corrects my receipt and gives me back the $1.60, which I know they will because they've always, they just have excellent customer service. Uh, that's going to bring my cost down to 46 cents for this whole haul. 46 dang cents. Are you kidding me? Oh, and I did include this. I didn't tell you this, but I did include this in my totals. I got a dollar Catalina at Kroger for the Sun Maid. I don't know what the promotion is. I don't know if it's buy two and earn a dollar back. I don't know if you buy more, if you earn more back, but I also got a dollar Catalina from Kroger. So that was unexpected and awesome. So that it includes my 91.44 back includes that one dollar so there you go this was an awesome haul so excited i decided to do the february funds bonus on my husband's account i got so much food items i am so excited to try this five layer dip this one was of pretty large cost so to get all of the rest of this stuff and all of it only cost me 206 or 46 cents after a uh, Shopkick corrects my receipt. I think it's so awesome. So there you go. That's what I got for you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know if you finished your February funds. Let me know if you got a weekend warrior because I didn't, which sometimes it happens when we get those big um, $10 bonuses. All right. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.